I just found a SPAC, a special purpose acquisition company that I'm going to invest in. So I want to show you what I'm doing. So I think I should take a minute and explain what a SPAC is. So if there's this company called ABC Incorporated, it's just a made-up company name, but it's going to serve our purposes for this example. I want to tell you what makes them a SPAC or the special purpose acquisition company. So there's a number of conditions. Number one, they're a publicly held company, which means they're already listed and traded on a stock market exchange, whether it's the New York Stock Exchange or Chicago or wherever it is. But it's publicly listed and available um, because it's actually issuing. It has company stock that can be bought and sold within the stock market. So that's the number one condition, right? So it has to be a company that's already out there and being traded. And number two... The purpose of this company is they're not actually producing a product or service, but they're focused on merging with a private company. And so they're looking for a successful private company that is doing really well, but they're, they're privately held, right? So they're not being traded yet, but they're doing well. But that private company um, wants to go and be publicly traded, right? So they decided they're done being a private company. They want to be publicly traded. And so they want to go through the steps of being listed and offering stock. Unfortunately, if you're at all familiar with um, going from a private company and turning into a public company, you know, something called an IPO, an initial public offering, it requires a lot of paperwork, and which means a lot of lawyers and a lot of CPAs get involved. And it actually can take between 12 and 18 months for that process to occur. So for a private company to go public, yeah, they can do it, but it's it's a pretty big deal and it's pretty expensive. There's the lawyers, the accountants that I mentioned, there's all the paperwork, and then there's a time involved, right? It doesn't happen overnight. But what they can do to speed up the process, this private company, they can merge with a SPAC. Um, you know, like as I mentioned, the SPAC is looking for a, a private company and the private company wants to go public. The two of these can get, these two entities can get together and because the SPAC is already listed and being traded, that private company can take advantage of that now and have their company merge with the SPAC. And it, the process takes between six and eight weeks roughly, but you save a lot of time, you save a lot of money. But now that, that public company can now have shares of stock um, under the SPAC's name and actually turn that company public. And so this merger is an opportunity for the private company and the public company to actually um, have a symbiotic relationship where they can work off of each other and both be successful. And so that's kind of a, a quick overview of what a SPAC is and how they work with a public company. Um, I'll probably have another video that explains this in more detail, kind of spells it out. So you can see, you know, all the all the details behind it. But the SPAC I like that I'm going to invest in is called. Hi and welcome. If you're new to my channel, I'm just a random guy on YouTube. I publish videos that show my experience as I go through the journey of trying to learn how to trade options. I make a lot of mistakes along the way. I also lose a lot of money, but that's OK. That's part of the experience. And every once in a while I get lucky and I make a few dollars. But let's get started and let me share with you the SPAC that I'm going to invest in. The SPAC that I like is called Lancadia Holdings. Uh, the stock symbol is LCA. And earlier this month on December 3rd, they held a special meeting of their shareholders in order to vote on the merger with the Golden Nugget Online Gaming. If you're not familiar with the Golden Nugget Online Gaming, they recently got a license from the New Jersey Casino Control Commission on November 25th that allows them to start their online gaming service. Through my research, I found that many states offer online betting and that online casinos are the next step in the evolution. So I found that 35 states either have already approved online casinos or they currently have legislation in place that they're waiting to vote on or there's even a few that, that are still undecided. And I also discovered there's 15 states that are unlikely to ever approve online casino gambling. With that being said, I still think that the future of online gaming and casinos is gonna be huge, especially now in this year, 2020, with so many people unable to travel. I think they're looking for ways to experience life in different ways, and online gaming and online casinos is one of those ways. So I really like LCA as a play for this opportunity. Them merging with Golden Nugget Online Casinos totally makes sense to me. 
And so now I'm going to try to make a trade and see if I can get in on some of the action. As I look at the one month, it's up 63%. And for one year, it's up 113%. And now that we have a little bit of a dip today, I'm going to try to acquire some shares. So as I look at the ticker, I see that LCA is trading right around $21. Well, I'd rather not pay $21. I want to see if I can get a lower price. So rather than do a limit order, I'm going to use a cash secure put to see if I can secure some shares. So I'm going to select trade and then trade options. And then I'm going to go one month out and pick the January 15th, 2021 expiration date. I'm going to be selling a put and I'm going to pick the $20 strike price, which will be about 5% off the current market price. And for this trade, I'm going to specify two contracts and set the limit price at $3.20. So for these two option contracts, I'm agreed to buy a total of 200 shares at $20 per share on or before January 15th of 2021, which means I'm going to set aside $4,000 in collateral. So that's the 200 shares times $20 per share. So I'm going to reserve that so I can purchase the shares if they get assigned to me. And in return, I'm going to receive $640 in premium. Next, I'm going to submit my order so that it gets placed. And then shortly after, my order gets filled. Hey, so that's my option trade for today. If LCA actually dips below 20 and I get assigned the shares, I'm okay with that because I like the company and I think it's got a big future. So buying the dip when it drops below 20 is perfect for me. But if I don't get the shares, I'm okay with that too because I'll still pocket the $640 premium. Hey, what do you think of this trade? Leave me a comment below. Did I make a mistake or am I on the right track? Or tell me about one of the trades you're making. If you're interested in learning more about stock option trading basics, then be sure to check out my video, Option Trading Basics. I've included a link in the description below. Also, if you're interested in opening a trading account and receiving two free stocks, then consider opening a Webull account and using my referral link that is in the description. If you use my link, open an account, and deposit just $100, you'll receive two free stocks worth between $8 and $1,000 each. So did you like this video and you want to see more like it? Well then smash the like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video and it motivates me to create more. And if you really want to know more about trading stock options, be sure to use the subscribe button so that you get access to all of my videos. Also, click on the bell icon so that you'll get notified every time I release a new video. I've been using a simple method to trade stock options and generate over $2,000 a month, and now you can see exactly how I do it. Make a plan, take action on that plan, and start living your dream.